Actually, I am not a professional storyteller, but that's exactly what Nestor did to me. Like he was like, "Oh, this this story that you have is amazing. You you need to you need to do this." I was like, "Okay, I trust you. I hope I hope uh, people are interested in this." Uh, I am sitting on my aunt's couch in a one bedroom apartment in Flushing, New York. You know, it's it's New York, so it's not a big apartment at all. Um, my aunt is my grandmother's youngest sister. She was cooking something delicious. She she's a you know she's a great cook, um, and just the fragrance of her cooking would like make me hungry. I I think she was cooking uh, gulab jamuns. Anyone knows yeah, what yeah. gulab jamuns is? It's like this, this sweet uh, donut like dessert uh, with like you know rose water and it's, it's delicious. Uh, but even though there are delicious gulab jamuns in the making, I, I'm not hungry. Uh, it's, it's June 2017, um, and my friends were in downtown Manhattan <laughs> attend, attending the New York Pride, and I wasn't there with them. Uh, this was my first year in New York, and the second year in the United States, and I wasn't out to anyone. Um, I was too worried. What if people like saw me there and like made out that I'm gay? Uh, I wasn't out of the closet yet. I had never talked to anyone about it, um, so I did not know what being gay meant in society, in classroom, or in any space for that matter. I was too nervous to be seen as a gay man, and I hardly saw anyone who was gay that looked like me. Honestly, you know, gay wasn't even in my sort of vocabulary back in India. And every picture of a gay man I saw was white. So mm -hmm. I always thought that it's, you know, only white people are gay. <laughs> 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 this, was, this, was a few, this was a few years ago. <laughs> Uh, but, like, as I said on that couch, I was like, enough is enough. I said, you are gay, and you got to do this pride thing. Like, that, that's what gays do. <laughs> <laughs> um, what I'll do, I'll go to another city. A place where no one can recognize me. <laughs> right? Unfortunately for me, I learned that New York Pride is like the grand finale of all the prides. Um, it happens on the last Sunday in June, and pride parades in every other major city in America have already happened, or are happening as New York Pride is happening. Um, so, you know, people are celebrating in Chicago, San Francisco, as I sulk on my couch. Um, except for one. I found that Montreal Pride happens in August, on August 19 that year. And I pray for such kind of like inspired decision making every day. But that afternoon I went and booked myself tickets for Montreal and that August. I love that. Uh, I went to the Fierce Day Montreal's website as the official source of information. Of course I did not want to miss the Pride Parade, that was the whole reason <laughs> I was gonna be there. So I could plan my itinerary around it. I went on there, it was a slick, minimalist website with a button that said, end register more. So it, I clicked on it, it asked me for some details, my name, phone number, etc. And I was like, cool. Uh, I got an email, you know, saying that, oh, these are, you know, this is where the parade is gonna start. And, uh, that's, that's amazing, I was like, perfect. Uh, I was nervous, but really calm. I will enjoy the anonymity of being in a new city where half of the people don't even speak English. Uh, I told my friend I was taking like a solo summer trip. And I was, I was also super excited about visiting Montreal, like, like Expo 67, Buckminster Fuller's uh, geodesic dome, and I'm, I'm a city planner, so you know, I get excited about I get excited about cities. Uh, 
So a week before August 19, I received an email with the details of the Pride Parade, and it told me the start time, you know, the starting point. It reminded me of those things, and it said my number is G4. I, I don't remember any of my New York friends talking about any of these things, but I also never like talked to them about Pride. <laughs> I, I did not know anything. So email said that I should check in with an organizer when I arrived. I showed up on that time at the location when the parade was supposed to start. I found someone who looked like an official person with a lanyard and an ID. I showed him the email. He pointed me to go south uh, on the boulevard, even without looking at me, and you know, told me that I was in the G block. I should keep walking until I see people in the green jacket. So, I'm like red, orange, yellow, green. I walked over miles south and finally found the G block. The parade was supposed to go north. Um, as I approached an organizer over there, he asked me, is your contingent here? I gave him a blank look. He saw his sheet and the name of the contingent was Siddha Shah. <laughs> Are you marching alone? Oh. He asked. I was confused, <laughs> as it turns out, I, a closeted gay Indian who had never witnessed Pride before, had signed up to march. <laughs> In the Montreal Pride Parade that was going to be headlined jointly by the Prime Minister of Canada. <laughs> <laughs> the, the organizer walked me to a spot and uh, you know I saw 50 or so people behind me in like purple branded t-shirts with like KPMG logo. Uh, they had a huge bus with like speakers and they were like blasting music, having a good time. They were cute. <laughs> but I was a bit disoriented. <laughs> Uh, a, a few meters ahead, there was a similar group in the, like green garments. Like it was um, Bank des Jardins group, which is like the largest bank in Quebec. <laughs> so I was like between these two <laughs> big contingent. But directly ahead of me, there was a small group that didn't seem to be part of these either of two big contingents. And as I sat by the curb trying to make sense of what's going on. Um, I heard people in that small group talking in English. Uh, so I was like, uh, a, a lady in her 50s kind of was kind enough to start a conversation with me. She was from Texas, but she has settled in Canada. So that's why she knew English. And most of those people were similarly, they were Americans who had like settled in Canada. I, I learned that that, that small group was the local chapter of Democrats Abroad. Uh, and, you know, I, so I just like s sat there, started chatting with this lady after almost two years of waiting. Sorry, not two years, two hours of <laughs> waiting. Uh, the parade started, everyone started assembling themselves. What was I supposed to do? I, I did not know. I just like, I kept up with these folks from Democrat Abroad, and I started walking with them, and, you know, just trying to like blend myself in the crowd. <laughs> and I, they had a banner, so I was like, okay, I'll, I'll help, you know, help you hold that banner. <laughs> <laughs> This was 2017, so it was uh, Trump's first year in the office. And this was my first pride parade in one of the most progressive cities in America. And I was, walk I was like walking with the resistance. So as we walked through the parade, we got the loudest cheers. So many people were like taking pictures. The Democrat brought banners, you know, it was all for like trans rights and um, like fuck Trump and <laughs> all those things and I, I, I had that banner that said like fuck Trump. <laughs> this was the opposite of my plan to go unnoticed. <laughs>
<laughs> I, I, I honestly feared that I wouldn't be allowed back in the country. <laughs> like they would reject my visa. <laughs> so as, as people were taking pictures, I literally tried to hide my face behind the banners and the posters as much as possible. Um, if you Google Montreal Pride 2017, um, it would be hard to find my face in those pictures. Um, I, I won't be seen there, but as I'm sharing my story over here, I see myself, I recollect myself in that march through you folks, um, reimagining what it would have been like, and I'm so very grateful for that. Um, from hiding my face behind a placard to telling this story in front of you, it's been, it's been a journey. And uh, thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to read.